So I went in for a routine 20 week ultrasound, which is an ultrasound of the anatomy of the baby. And when I was there, the technician kind of noticed something was off with the heart. So when I went in to see my doctor, she told me, you know, we have some readings that were off with the heart. We want you to go see a specialist. And we went and they were doing an intensive scan. It was almost like an hour. And there's when they told me that there looks like there's something wrong with your baby's heart. So he actually had three congenital heart defects. Your son has a congenital heart defect. He actually has two congenital heart defects. One is called transmission of the greater arteries, and the other one is VSD, where there's a hole in one of the four chambers of the heart. It was tough, but you know, we soon learned that it didn't make a difference whether how tough it was or not, because this was our reality, and it's like, get ready, it's happening. And we decided to interview cardiac surgeons, and we interviewed Dr. Burke, who we absolutely fell in love with. He told us about it, what he does, and more important than what he does, he kind of conveyed the thought that I'm not trying to downplay what you're going to go through, but based on his you know, prognosis, this is very doable. So as he had a complex heart defect that really comprised three problems. The arteries coming out of his heart were twisted around backwards, that's called transposition. And he also had a small pulmonary valve, so pulmonary stenosis, and he had a hole inside of his heart. Each of those defects alone is life-threatening, has to be repaired. All of them together, that's a big problem. So delivery day was, it was crazy. So I got induced and I gave birth. There was maybe 10 different doctors in the delivery room. We had about a second or two to be like, it's a boy. She got, Ilana got to hold him. We put him on my chest, I gave him a kiss, and he was taken away. Ezzy's first adventure. It was me, Ezzy, a couple paramedics, pilots, got in the chopper and riding across town. It was somewhat serene, whether it was me blocking it out or just taking a couple minutes to myself before we actually got ready to go, you know, go to war. So Ezzy came to us as a blue baby, and our diagnostic team is really good at figuring out exactly what's causing the baby's oxygen level to be so low. We knew Izzy was gonna need two operations. So our goal was to get him through that first operation and get him home with mom and dad so that they could beef him up. We needed him really big and really strong for the second operation, which is a much bigger operation. And they did a great job. So he came back at eight months and we were ready to go. And Izzy was ready to go. And we took him into the operating room for round two. He's doing great. He's like any other kid, he is a ball of fire. He is the happiest, sweetest little kid. He has the most energy anybody could ever have. From having a heart defect and not, you know, the best start in life, he is awesome. He is a normal kid. You would never ever know what he went through or what he has if I didn't tell you. Ezzy's operation the second time went really well. We were really happy with it. We achieved all of our goals, but we knew that there was one thing we couldn't do, and that is give him a heart valve that would grow. So he was gonna outgrow it. So we, our responsibility is keep an eye on him as he grows year by year and get him to the point where we can get another valve, a big enough valve for him to live with for the rest of his life. That's gonna come, that time is coming down the road, and that's our job. We gotta take care of these kids, not just for the day they're born, but over their lifetime. We're right here, and when he needs us, we'll be ready to go. So this is a poem I wrote for Ezzy uh, when he was about a year and a half. I think it was 20 months. He was about to start school and we took him to school. Not gonna lie, probably one of the best days of my life. It says, I never thought this day would come. And if it came, it wouldn't be this soon. And if it came this soon, would you even be ready? 10 days before you turn 21 months of age, I've learned yet another lesson you didn't attempt to teach. If there's a will, there's a way. Everything your big brother and older cousins do, you copy. They hit you and knock you down, you get up. They steal your toys out of your hands, you pick up others to play with. You dance and skip to the sound of music and move to the beat of your own drum. 
Your smile lights up any room in an instant. You've taken life by the horns, and I'm just excited to be sitting courtside watching. So, you know, that day was just, he did it. And it was him, but there was a team behind him, specifically Nicholas Children's and Ilana.